we're looking at a number of different Australian white wine styles and their colour and the aroma and flavour. At the beginning of the lineup, we have a Sauvignon Blanc. You notice how pale the colour is, it's almost watery like. And this indicates that it's a wine that's been fermented in stainless steel, it's had no oxidative treatment at all, it's absolutely brilliantly clean and clear, but it's young, it's youthful. The next wine is also young and youthful, but it's got a little bit of spritzig. If you notice the slight bubbles in this particular glass, and this is a Riesling from Clare Valley from Pikes, and it's also quite watery in colour, but the spritzig will give it a real tang on the, on the tongue. The next wine that we're going to have a look at is in fact a Vidello, slightly deeper in colour, some slight oxidative treatment to it, but not very much, and it's still quite pale, pale straw colour. The next wine, we've got a Massan here from Tobilk, Central Victoria. It's becoming a little bit deeper in colour, definitely pale straw. Then finally here we have a, a 1993 Semillon from the Hunter from McWilliams and you see age has deepened that colour considerably so that's deep, definitely a deep straw colour. And from Ken Eckersley at Nicholson River we have this tremendously deep golden coloured Chardonnay which has been deliberately exposed to oxygen to give it added complexity and deeper colour. And finally this murky old thing, an old Riesling looking tired. And you can see what happens to a wine as it goes through its aging process. It goes from young, vibrant, lively, to sort of old age, wrinkly, tired, and past it. And that's the sort of thing that we can tell by just looking at the wine, its age and condition.